Namaste, my beautiful queens, kings of any. We are having such unbelievable times right now, uh, especially from the 10th to... No, from... I think it's not from the 10th. It's a specifically powerful time from the 10th uh, of this month to 26th of this month. But after those go more things and... Uh, <laughs> being honest with you uh some say most intensive are from the 10th to 26th but some say it is actually uh from the uh from from now till all the way till 26th so anyways uh, all kinds of planetary intensive 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 things connected to mercury to the sun to the moon to saturn you name it so we you know some additional help some additional messages are gonna be very useful and because a lot of it is connected to the moon. I have decided to do messages using moonology cards. I've used uh, this deck when I did the monthly reading. And uh, let us do this. Any question, I think it's more comfortable uh, when you, you get more, more answers. If you do this, you will assign uh, number one card for this matter. For example, you say, let me get the answer from my guy. Number one card, my job. Number two card, my love life. Number three card, my uh, spirituality, my past, my goals. Number four, um, I don't know, what is my uh, message for um, my friendship or whatever however it's just you can assign one card to a specific question or simply listen to all five um, uh, like see uh, see and sense and feel what is going to resonate and um, let it be your answer so I am going to use monology card I'm going to pull five cards Asking the spirits of fire, earth, air, and water, the divine, the guardians, the keepers, the absorbers to give us the answers to our questions, to my forehead, to my mouth, to my heart. With gratitude, we will take the answers which, um, which we're going to be receiving. Uh, the left hand is connected uh, straight to uh, the heart the blood vessel <laughs> and uh, esoterics consider that uh, you take cards by left hand you get more accurate answer so uh card number one let me put this flower a little on the back um card number two card number three Okay. Card number four. And let's get this one as number five. And let us go and see what spirits are going to tell us. Remove all this. We'll go straight to card number one. The answer for your question, your commitment is being tested. First quarter, the light is always first quarter of the moon. Being honest with you, I don't like when I'm being tested, but this is what we are constantly doing, what how forces are constantly doing this to us, or we do it to ourselves before we incarnate. First uh, quarter moon uh, means challenges. Some challenges are coming your way about the question and the matter you're asking about. But, but, just, just this is how your 
absorbers, guides, keepers, and universe. This is how uh, these all forces are testing you. It tells you that you will have to face some challenges. And um, actually, actually, you need to uh, stop thinking that something is impossible because those challenges they are gonna they're gonna make you think that oh no no that's not possible that's not gonna happen because if you believe you can do it then you can do it i read in one book um, such words i think it was from from the book the secret if you believe you can you can you are right if you believe you cannot, you cannot. You are also right. You are right in both time. So if you believe you can, then you can. If you believe you can't, you can. So if you spend your life affirming that something is too big, too impossible, too hard for you to make it happen, then unfortunately that's what's going to be. I hope you see how it works. So if you believe your dreams will come true or have chances to come true, then they will come true and those chances are going to be given to you. So commitment, this is a card of commitment. So please show some commitment because this is your test. Because these challenges are moving towards you. And you will get your desired outcome. What you believe to be true is true. What you believe is not true is not true. Just say to yourself, I'm committed to my dreams. And move slowly, keep on moving towards your dream. You see, if you asked yes or no question and you get this card, it's a yes, but. All right. It says yes, but just not yet. Yes, but not yet. You are approximately on a, in the middle of your journey. You're halfway there. But you still need to put more efforts to this. You can realize what you're thinking but you need to keep on going. First quarter of the moon, it comes between the new moon and the full moon. So it's time when the sun and the moon are at heart astrological angle to each other. So no matter what you do, what you ask, what you asked this card about, it tells you, Yes, there are going to be some stones on your way, but don't turn back and you get there. This is uh, card number one. Card number two. The energy. I just, I just, you know, like I like the word momentum. Also, Michael Newton in his book, uh, gives a lot attention to the color of purple waxing moon the energy is gaining a momentum so during the so-called waxing moon cycle it's a uh, there are moment of eternity very positive card very deep wise positive card it tells you that you can yeah, probably a purple array, the most advanced souls. After purple, uh, souls already don't incarnate in physical unless absolutely necessary. You can create your reality. You can bring, absolutely you can bring what you're dreaming about into your life. But it will take still some work and... Uh, very similar meaning to the previous card. You are not quite there yet. So this is the 
time of energies arising up so lots of emotions lots of emotions emotions are building up too so please ask yourself where do you want to go and do you really believe you can get to your final destination ask yourself this question do i really believe that i can get to my final destination either you can just keep meditating imagining you getting there focusing on your desired outcome doing affirmations listening to mantra it requires patience and courage and uh, commitment so commitment is necessary there and some practical steps are also necessary you are whatever you are like whenever you are right now in the middle of your path or almost at the end or at the beginning you are on the right track whatever this is about you are on the right track also you are always being heard your thoughts uh your wishes your inspiration you are always being heard and you are being given a lot of hints to get the right decision this situation is very has very good potential it's good a lot of good potential your dreams can with some of your efforts absolutely can come true but efforts are required as always you know actions are required just don't give up just don't give up look at your goals you know uh add some details to it uh research a little more if you need to it, it just stay commitment uh waxing cycle uh, is a period of the lu- lunar cycle uh if i'm not wrong from new moon to full moon and uh uh the moon it looks in the sky in this period like a little bigger and rounder every night So this is very empowered card an empowering time of your life very promising card so make plans uh really look at them act upon them meditate upon them imagine what you want is already yours and it's going to be yours now we will be moving to the card number 3 have faith in your dream again waxing but this time waxing crescent moon i know how it's hard sometimes uh, in um dreams right faith is not easy while we are in our physical body but butterflies and leaves it's very similar to previous card we all know these words don't give up we all know these words don't give up but sometimes we're being tempted because it gets too hard or too difficult or we are in a dark night of a soul but this is answer to your question as simple as that don't give up The situation you are asking about is still how to say it getting its shape taking shape you are not near the end of the story at all so if you are thinking okay it's over it's over i'm done with it oh no way you're not done you big time not done you're nowhere near the end of the story yet So whatever please hear me whatever is happening now is just a step on your path along the way Everything my beautiful queens who chose the card 
everything will be all right at the end. Everything gonna be okay at the end. Everything is gonna be wonderful at the end. Even if it seems like it's not okay right now, it's not the end. There was a movie, a Bollywood movie, I think, when uh, it was a monologue when a man said, it's gonna be a happy ending for sure. And if it's not happy ending, it means the movie is not over yet. Everything's gonna be okay, my queens, at the end. However, what we need to know here, what warning, waxing crescent moon tells you, honey, you got to keep on doing what you have to. You got to keep on working towards whatever it is you want. If you can't, you know, like if the situation is such right now, because we're still kind of in crazy times. If you can't take, you know, like practical steps, then, like previous card, this is a card of meditation and visualization or get yourself this My Dreams journal and write down what you want. Do it every day. Imagine what you want is already yours. Law of Attraction, my beautiful queens, the books which called The Secret and other which came under that, after that. Meditate on the question you are asking and ask your higher self for the answer, your guides and keepers to give you the answer, to give you the hints, get the information from the source. Uh, try to see what is the best next step. If you have a deck of tarot, ask your tarot cards what should be my next step. Don't lose your hope because still it's a card of a positive answer. Whatever you're asking about, stay focused and do what you can. If there is a circumstances you cannot do nothing, meditate, visualize, write it in your My Wishes journal or your visualization board. Just, just do something. Just the thing is that, girls, if you can't see what you want right now with you, doesn't mean that you're not going to have it. But also, please don't look back. Please don't look back. Please don't, stuck, don't be stuck in the past. Have some patience. Dig deeper into yourself. Find your courage. You have so much courage. You will see how things will unfold. Pursue your dreams. Your real dreams. Your real dreams which make you happy. Which make you inspired and help you inspire others. You're going to get there. Now... <clears throat> Excuse me. Next, expect powerful joy. This is coming. New eclipses. Eclipses are always so intensive. At least for me, I, I honestly like it's probably the most intensive times and um, new moon eclipse. So, um, the thing is that, again, a positive card, and um, you know you will get what you want, really. You know, you doubt, you might be doubting, you might be like, really, I'm not sure, it's your mind gives you tons of doubts, but in fact, let's face it. You will achieve your dreams and you'll get, as they say, to your final destination. It's a yes to what you're asking about. But this card is of beginnings 
and uh, powerful energies at work, clarifying energies. So uh, you have to be prepared, like in Lion King, this be prepared. It's going to be not a quiet, soft ride, my beautiful queens, kings of any. Not going to be a quiet ride. You know, events could just pile up and happen. And some of them, because it's, it's not a card of comfort. Some of them, those events which this card brings, can be quite uncomfortable. But... You have to remember, please, no matter what happens, what happens, whatever happens, any new directions you take, and this tells you that you have to take some new directions. Any new things you will do, any new directions you will take, especially if your question was about something you want to do, are thinking to do, but doubting if you need to do, should do, it tells you it will lead you somewhere better than where you are right now. So, don't be afraid. The 1,000 miles trip starts with the first step. Try not to stay exactly where you are. You need to move. Any move you make is going to get you closer to where you want to be. Whatever is happening now is happening for the reason. Don't be discouraged. Even if it seems like it's crazy and nothing good is going to come out of it. Please remember... Later, a little bit later, you will understand. Oh my God, if, I, if this didn't happen, I wouldn't have never been here. This is a portal. This is a card portal. Portal, open up to you. Yes, it takes courage to make those steps, to make those changes, you know, to, to take probably new directions. To leave the past in the past and maybe even forget about the past. Move on. Move through it. Move through it. Move on. But you know what? If you stay on the old path or if someone threatens you and tells you go back to the old path, try not to do it. There is nothing for you to fear, really. Nothing for you to fear. Yes, it's a, if it, if it was a yes or no question, yes, it's a yes card, but uh, this, some of you asked a very important question about life purpose. Whatever is happening and will be happening for the period of time you've asked is for your highest good. Uh, and it's a turning point of your life, turning. It's never easy. It's never easy. But changes are never easy, but changes is the only permanent thing about life. Changes is a part of nature, part of life. At the end, you're going to be exactly where you want to be. I hope you got your answer. <clears throat> and we're going to get the last card. Card number five. A time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. Especially, of course, for those of you who have sun in Virgo or moon in Virgo. Uh, especially would be important answer. So, what does it mean? Time to give rather than take. When this card shows up as an answer to your question. You need to ask yourself, okay, queen if you are a queen or king if you are a king. Where am I right now exactly? This is the first question you need to ask yourself. 
And where do I want to be or where do I want to go? This card talks about need of restart something. And that restart has to be clever and well thought, well organized. Virgo also has a very strong health aspect to it. So if you have been, I hope not, but if you have been feeling unwell or been unwell, this card tells you that you're going to be all right, but you need to please make your health your top priority. You see, Virgo um, likes uh, this, my kids call me a health freak because I, I forbid junk food, I forbid all this uh, processed food. So this card tells you, okay, you want to be in your best health, physical health, emotional health, mental health. Please, you got to watch what you eat. Clean eating, organic food. You know, everybody knows this fruits and vegetables, yoga, exercise, walking outside. Just please add it to your routine. Um, you are feeling uh, the situation you are being asking. Some of you might be feeling that it's kind of like blocked, something blocking you and you can't move on. You just... Uh, so try to relax, try to relax and kind of trust the divine, trust that everything happens when it wants to happen, because improvement, this card tells you improvement are happening, improvements are coming, but uh, this Virgos, they are, I have a friend Virgo, they always pay attention to details. So please pay attention to details if, if it's about job, if it's about studying, if it's about something like this. Success will be there, but please pay attention to details. And um, service to other, give or take, you see, uh, it's going to give you, when you service selflessly to others, you open up the blockage usually for uh, money and luck and good events in your life. If... You've been asking about someone, can I trust this person? Uh, this card shows you someone reliable, someone you can trust. So first of all, it's a, it's a card of health, so please pay attention to your health. It's a card of uh, give to others, because the energy of this card is the more you give to others, the more you receive back, nothing goes unnoticed. And um, also, the energy of new moon is Virgo likes details. Please put your life in order. If there was something out of order, please put it in order. Uh, this would be the answer to your questions. I hope, my beautiful queens, that you have received the message i hope really really hope that you did and uh, i am wishing you all the best and uh, we will meet soon again namaste